Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, with well-earned pride, told the big crowd that possessing the qualities that make a people great, Singapore would be a precious military, economic and political asset to Malaysia. All of us in the five territories of Malaysia have staked our lives and our future on it and succeed it must. On 16th September 1963, Singapore merged with Malaya, Sabah and Sarawak to form the new Federation of Malaysia. The ruling PAP had defeated the Barisan Socialists to win the support of Singaporeans for merger, but the euphoria that followed merger was short-lived. When Singapore held its state elections soon after merger, the United Malay National Organization, or UMNO, the Federation's ruling party, contested in it. But they lost to the PAP in all the Malay majority seats. Stung by their defeat, some UMNO leaders accused the PAP of oppressing Malays in Singapore. Then, in 1964, the PAP contested in the Malaysian general elections, fielding nine candidates. Only one won. But the PAP rallies had attracted huge crowds in peninsular Malaysia, with tens of thousands flocking to hear Lee. Tensions boiled over in July and September 1964 when race riots broke out in Singapore, resulting in a total of 46 deaths and hundreds more injured. The economic benefits of merger also turned out to be a mirage. Kuala Lumpur restricted Singapore's industrialization, and the promised common market did not materialize. Things came to a head in May 1965 with the formation of the Malaysian Solidarity Convention, a coalition of five multiracial parties led by the PAP. The convention's slogan for Malaysian Malaysia alarmed UMNO leaders. Tunku Abdul Rahman, the Malaysian Prime Minister, had enough. On 9th August 1965, Singapore's fate would soon change again.